Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Harry Wolf and this is The Joy of Coding. I got a quick little follow up from the previous video that I made writing our own custom React hook for making a global event listener. Uh, everything about that was great if I do uh, say so myself, but there's a few other things that I wanted to extend in that custom hook that I didn't really have the time to squeeze into that one video. Hence, a new fun video. Uh, primarily what I want to do is add additional configuration behavior to this use event listener. Um, if you don't remember this use event listener from last video, it looks like this where you can add a nice global click handler. Uh, when you use it, things work as expected here. Uh, count, that's right, okay. Um, what I wanna do first is let this use event listener be conditional, such that it is either enabled or not. Um, and that's one of the big pain points with React hooks is that they cannot be conditional due to the way that they're implemented internally into React. They're, the, order, the, the order in which the hooks exist in a component have to be consistent across renders. Um, so you can't, so let's actually do this here. I'm gonna make a new button. We're gonna say uh, set enabled E. I'm just gonna make this do not E. I'm gonna say enabled. I'm gonna do a string enabled. And then that was a really backwards way of saying um, enabled set enabled equals do state uh, true. Uh, right, so that's toggling as expected here. And got some nice little beautiful CSS, so enable true or false. So that means that I can't really do if enabled, uh, move this inside there. This is going to be mad at me. It's called conditionally, React hooks must be, and then call the exact same order in every component render. So that's a no-go. Um, what I could do is I can move this if inside here, right, if I wanted to, such that when the Handler's called, right? So this is I'm global. That's the uh, global handler. When I turn it false and I click, nothing happens. But um, this event listener still exists. So it's kind of like a uh, waste of resources to just have this be enabled no matter what. So instead, what we're going to have to do here is kind of uh, push the value down into the hook. So instead, I'm going to make an API that looks like this, an option. I'm going to say enabled. Uh, can be either true or false I'm using that there. And this is gonna add a new argument here. So I'm gonna have this be uh, enabled. By default, it'll be true and a default object if it's not being used. And then what I'm gonna do here is push that enabled flag into here. So I'm gonna say if it's enabled, sorry, if it's not enabled, then return early, don't actually make these event listeners. And of course I have to add this dependency array in here as well to make sure that things work as expected. So I'm gonna say uh, console log, uh, my little trick I like to do is actually just copy and paste the code that I'm shadowing. It makes it easy to kind of see what's going on. Um, so here, the add event will miss there. If I turn this to false, well, this is gonna be hard to see because you're not gonna see this here. Let's actually uh, do that. And we're just gonna do another console log of this content so we can see what's happening. So here, everything's working as expected. If I increment, things are working correct. If I do this, you can see that the movement that listener was happened, and now there's no event listener here, especially when I do this. Everything's working as expected, which is great. So now if I do this back and able true, I event listener there, and things are working again as expected. Very, very nice, very, very simple. Um, and that's kind of like the big trick to making things be conditional, making hooks being conditional. Um, of course, you want to extend this more. Let's actually get this noise out of the way. You can also add another option if you want, say you wanted to add like the, uh, the on scroll, you want to be notified that you want to use, you want to register an on scroll event. So um, window scroll event. Um, the big thing with, is it on the document? Do, 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 do. No, it's on the window. So that's the thing here. Right now we have these event listeners being hard coded to the document, but we actually want a scroll let's do this, let's do use event listener, 
uh, on scroll, do this here, say uh, console log, they see me scrolling. So I save that, let's just bring to this because I don't want to get distracted. When I do that, when I scroll, I don't see any consoles being added. Like if I were to do uh, window dot add event listener scroll and I said uh, blah, 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 blah. I said console log so scrolly and then scrolled if only things were high enough to scroll let's make this taller do style height I want to say 110 uh, so VM but I want VH I don't know what the heck I was thinking about with the um, height. So now when I scroll, let's add that. Here we have it here. They see me scrolling just like that. So that's working as expected. And so scrolling is also happening too. But let's say I don't want to actually, they see me scrolling is also happening. But let's say I also don't want to have this on the uh, document. I actually want this, <laughs> it's a little bit of a goof. I didn't realize that was going to work on the document uh, object, but I guess it does. But let's say I want to actually have this on the window object. I can actually add into here. Um, the uh, target and we're going to stay here window which means that here I can have target equals document by default that could be whatever I want and here I have target of course having to add that to my dependency array to make things look as expected of course they see me scroll once working as expected now again so that's a little bit nice extension to this custom hook that we made, making it a little bit more flexible and easier to use in many different contexts. Hopefully that was fun and educational. Thanks for watching. Become a subscriber if you're not already. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.